When we're dealing with people with atrial fibrillation, they have an increased risk of stroke and we have a lot of evidence to support the use of anticoagulants, blood thinners such as warfarin, in reducing that risk. However, for many years it's been said that aspirin is as, as effective as warfarin at reducing this risk. Now for at least a decade we have known that warfarin is far superior to aspirin, yet we still find that within England, one in three people who could benefit from warfarin therapy remain on aspirin. We would suggest that the issue here is that people consider aspirin to be safe and warfarin to be dangerous. And we would laughingly say that the conspiracy is that actually the drugs are as safe as each other. So if you are safe enough to be on aspirin, you are safe to be on warfarin. If it's dangerous to give you warfarin, it's dangerous to give you aspirin. And we need to convince our clinicians that they need to use more anticoagulants and a lot less aspirin in the management of AF-related stroke.